my god. This how is the turnicular I'm out here. I feel like we touched down on Mars or something. Good thing I don't wear a shirt underneath. I know, but real talk. Y'all see, I'm all blacked out. I'm all blacked out. They gonna think I'm a criminal out here in this all white neighborhood. Get it all black, criminal, and white neighborhood. All right, whatever. I'm gonna leave it at that. Shit. Um. Oh, shit, I almost fucking tripped and bust my ass. A couple things I want to speak on, right? First of all, I fuck with everybody supporting the channel. You know what I'm saying? Liking the video, sending requests, and keep doing what y'all do, and I'm gonna keep on providing. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. I fuck with y'all. That's number one. Number two, make sure some of y'all spread my shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm a god in itself, even though my channel was, you know what I'm saying? We the lost fallen guys, you know, out here trying to make our way back up the ladder and shit. We still got to grow. We still got to spread this shit. So make sure y'all spread this channel, man. Whatever y'all favorite type of video is, make sure y'all tell somebody else about it. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's looking for requests, let them, like, like let, send them to me, my nigga, and I'll make them shits. I'll use my creative, my creative out-of-the-box deity thinking to conjure up self-images on the game and let y'all niggas see that shit. I'm going to spread that shit like pixel dust or pixie dust. Whoever he picks, he does. Oh my God. Anyway, man, look, I'm I'm too nice with the entendres. But look, keep this shit real, right? I've been thinking last night. I've been thinking all last night about this shit. I don't know why I couldn't get this shit out of my head. But look, best Marvel, best Marvel, best looking female and, and Marvel. Who's who, who's the best looking? I know that motherfucking dog is on a leash. Okay, he is. Anyway. Man, that one shut the f Look at that motherfucking dog. I don't know if niggas is peeping me out the windows or something. They'll probably try to, uh... Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm geeking. I was trying to see if they was looking at me through their windows and shit. I dare you to film. I dare you to put my dog on film. I dare you. But nah, them niggas wasn't out here. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, best looking, best looking Marvel superhero, heroine. I'm going to say like that, female. Best looking Marvel female. To me personally, ain't nobody be Scarlet Witch. I'm sorry, bro. Ain't nobody be a Scarlet Witch. Nobody up there is being her. No, look, all right, fine. Look, if we doing it like this, if we being honest, what's the what's the what's the female that plays um Gomorrah in real life? She's number one. Then is uh Scarlet Witch's actress. Like them top two. It don't like nobody else come even close. It's not even close, bro. Them is top two of all time. You could add, like, from the future, y'all could add any other female y'all want to add. It's not going to be close. I don't care. who Y'all could add whoever y'all want to add. So, the, the female who plays the, the, the green alien, Gamora, and then Scarlet Witch, and then, um, I, oh, I almost forgot Black Widow, baby. How the hell I forget the OG? Them, them is top three. You could place them in any order, to be honest. Anything else is void. You know what I'm saying? Void. <laughs> I can't even think of, like, I really can't. I'm trying to sit here and try and process this shit. I can't think of nobody else that even comes close. It's, uh... I know Scarlet Witch's voice actor is, I think, I mean, not voice actor, is, uh, actress is, um, is married. Is, what's her name, Mary? The Gamora voice actress? Uh, the, the Gamora actress? She married? She married, y'all let me know.
I'm about to unzip this shit. It's getting too fucking hot. I got to show the bird chest, my nigga. She married, though. Y'all niggas got to let me know some shit. It was too fucking hot for all that bullshit. My nigga, I feel like I'm, I'm walking in the motherfucking Samoan desert. The Samoan motherfucking wildlife Afri African tropical springs, some shit. Like, bro, one of these forests, my nigga, this shit is fucking deep hot. Like, it's, it's so fucking moist and humid. But yeah, this, them is my top three. Gamora, Scarlet Witch, and Black Widow. It, it don't even fucking come close. Because I was having this debate with some nigga online. You know what I'm saying? I was watching a Black Widow scene. And this nigga talking about what's her, what's her name is the baddest female. Um, The nigga from... Uh, what, what, what was her name? The, the girl that was in Black Panther? The, 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 the blonde chick? I'm like, bro, I know we both black and all that, whatever, whatever. You want to represent for your sisters and shit. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real. None of y'all think, and I'm going to keep, <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, bro. Because blacks just, because niggas just, we've been brainwashed. I think it's something in our fucking coding system or something to make us feel this way. Or is it, or is, if it's just the fact that we at, we American and we not really fully African. But like, we don't, we don't, most black men ain't, com most black men nowadays ain't. Attracted to all African bitches and shit. We ain't attracted to that bald shit. We ain't attracted to, you know what I'm saying? We just, like, can we be honest? We not attracted to that shit. We not. We not attracted to the short hair. Because if you were, you know what we be saying? As a collective, as a whole, we wouldn't lie to these females, bro. We be saying, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit you put in your hair. Put that, you know what I'm saying? Let me see your natural beauty and all that shit. We don't say that shit. So, I don't want to hear no niggas simping and faking in the comments. I'm keeping this shit all the way real with y'all. Because y'all niggas won't keep it real with them. So, what I'm saying is, black men do not like black women's natural, natural look. They don't. They don't like dark skin. They don't like short hair. They especially don't like bald chicks. They don't like... Um, that personality, that little bit of masculine personality. This is this is things they don't like. You know what I'm saying? They don't like. They don't like none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Blacks like black men like lighter females. This is all. This is why you always see them going for light skins. They especially like white women, like fat booty white women. Man, a nigga, a black, a black man will fall to his knees, dog. Like a fat, like a, like a fat booty white woman that will fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Coddle you almost and, 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 and damn near mother you and show you the basis of life that you never knew growing up, my nigga. It's different. It's different, dog. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Black women, most black women can't do that shit. So we feel like that shit's different. And I'm not being racist or uh, self-hating. I'm speak. I'm not speaking for me. I'm speaking for black men as in general. I'm not speaking for me right now. Y'all don't know what I like. But um, yeah, I'm speaking for black men in general. Like, I'm just telling y'all the truth. Because if if this all this shit, if all this shit I'm saying wasn't true, the black family, the households wouldn't be so fucked up right now. Everything wouldn't be so effed up. You wouldn't have niggas leaving. Children, after getting a nut off, you would have more better families. You would have, you know what I'm saying? Not You wouldn't have the females trying to get niggas for child support every fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Not letting them see the kids, even if they do want to be in the kid's life. Niggas hit, niggas, uh, bitches trying to get that check. So what they do, keep the kid away. And I don't know about y'all, bro. But I got, a, I got a father. You know what I'm saying? I got a father. And I can and I can see, man. Look, I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be 100 real with y'all right now, bro. I'm gonna be 100 real. I got a dad. I grew up with a lot of people not having a dad, and at the time, at the time, that shit kind of made me feel like 
I was different, like I was like I was bad for having a dad. No, nigga. They try to get you, they try to fool you by saying, bro, you the only one with the pops. You left out, there's something wrong with you. No. I'm the I'm the I'm not the anomaly, my nigga. I'm special. It's special having both parents. Now my like my mom and dad don't live together. Like it's not like the perfectest household ever, it's no shit like that, but the fact that I knew my pops growing up and we actually had like a good relationship and you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just no me and mom bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That that's something to be proud of, my nigga. And and you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, I felt ashamed of that shit because it's like, bro, all my peers, or not all my peers, but most of my peers don't even have pops and shit like that. It's like, bro, it's okay. It's okay to not have a dad. But it's also okay, to, I mean, it's okay to have a dad. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to talk to your dad. If you got people who don't have a dad, don't feel ashamed that you do. You know what I'm saying? Just count your blessings. And if they try to make you bad for having a dad, that's when you know, all right, bro. I felt bad for you before, but now you talking all that shit. Get the fuck on. Straight like that. Get the fuck on. That's what I tell you. That's what I tell you nowadays. Get the hell on. Real. Real. <laughs> real. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Who? Man, real talk. The, 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 I know I'm I, I, going back to this was kind of null and void, but the, the, uh, the, the actress that, the actress that plays Gamora, I'll set her up with a pair of kids. I don't give a fuck. I, I put twins in that. Like, look, bro. I know she. Damn near my mama's age. But she could get twins, dude. Or, or we could have a nice working relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like something like a uh, a businessman and secretary type shit. It could be something like that. A young businessman and secretary, secretary shit. You know what I'm saying? She could show me the ways, coddle me, back rubs. <laughs> Listen, bruh. If y'all get to know me in real life, I'm 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 so goofy. I'm so goofy. I'm not I'm not serious. I'm not overly serious. I'm the jokester. Um, I know when it's time to be serious, of course, but I'm not overly serious. I like to have fun. I like to crack jokes. I like to make people smile and laugh. Um, I'm kind of an extrovert, meaning like I like to be around people. Like when it's like a, a like a group of people, I like to be around people, but I, sometimes I just like to listen to the conversation. I don't really like to eject myself into shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless unless like somebody speaks to me, I'll, of course I'll speak up. But you know what I'm saying? I just like to listen. It's with everything, bro. I don't know why I like to listen so much. I think that shit comes just from like all them times I went to church, <laughs> and I was just forced to sit down and listen to some shit I didn't even understand. Listen, listen, listen. This is where the motherfucking frogs and shit be. Them shits hop up on you, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Bro. Like, all the time, man. All the time. What the fuck is that bug? Y'all hear that shit? That's a bug. That's not even no fucking bird or nothing. A hose? That shit sound like a little water hose. Motherfucking cicadas and shit. But, bro, I'm the type of dude... Like, if y'all on my YouTube page, I'm the type of dude that have, like, videos written down before I do them. So, like, if you go in the notes on my phone, that shit say, like, point... Like, one point... And then the video I did, two point video I did, shit's all the way up to like 50. It's just a, it's just the the point of actually getting to the video and doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? I do all that. I do a whole bunch of shit in my notes, my nigga. Rap lyrics, videos, all types of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, 
Bro, this shit is really crazy. Like, I was just thinking about this shit, like, rappers, you know what I'm saying? Rap music, the radio music they play today. You know, if you really listen to the radio music today, bruh, they play the same shit. Like, they always, I remember back in, like, it was like 2013, 2014 era-ish. I used to ride around with my, my, uh, gr my, uh, my granddad used to ride around in the little truck delivering packages and shit. And he, he was doing his job and, and he would let me listen to what I want to listen to on the radio. And, of course, it would be the same songs, but it would be, like, songs you could deal with. You know, it was, like, uh, Janae Aiko, shit, uh, Seven Streeter, you know, songs like that. Y'all know, like, that. y'all know back then that era and shit. I'm saying I love to get on. Who was that? T -t 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 I don't even know how to say her shit. T -t 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 Tina. Sh T I don't even fucking know. But uh, yeah, her like, bro, it should be all that shit, and the songs would be repetitive. But they'd be like songs that don't like, like aren't ear grading at the same time. Like if that makes sense, there'd be songs that just it's just not complete gibberish. It's just like party songs and shit. The songs they playing on the radio now is literally all destruction. Like I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to put it in, into perspective without sounding like a motherfucking hater. I bit the fuck out of my gun. That shit, man. That shit feel like it's never gonna go away. But um, yeah, I don't even know how to put it into perspective without sounding like a hater, but. The entire fucking radio catalog is trash, my nigga. Straight trash. And we, bro, believe it or not, man, brothers, we are destroying this, these women, bro. We tell them it's, we telling them it's cool to shake their ass and doing all this and doing all that and all this. It's, bro, that's only cool for like sex appeal shit. Like that's only cool like for when you trying to get another, when you trying to find these bitches. You trying to bang out a bitch to a, a song on the radio or something, whatever. That's fine, bro. But but to sit and say that that's good for the culture, that's good for the community, that's not it. That, that ain't it. You know. You know, on these radio stations, they encourage sex, money, um, however you can get it. Um, killing. Um, really, this shit's fucking up the hood more than any other place, but because... Cause, the problem with niggas is when niggas listen to music, they can't they can't differentiate music in real life. Like they'll listen to music and they be like, "Oh man, I gotta do that shit in real life. That shit is cold. I gotta go and do that shit real life." You know what I'm saying? They niggas niggas believe in you ain't living it. If you rapping it and you living it, if you not living it, then you ain't real. That's what niggas believe in. If you not living the shit you rap, you not real. So what niggas did was they went on ahead and said, okay, if I'm going to rap about this shit, I have to live it. And then niggas who listen to these songs uh, believe in that shit as well. You know what I'm saying? What they listen, what they listen to on the radio, they got to live. And that's why uh, Blacks is in the position they are in right now. Because all they're putting out for the Blacks is destruction. Like I said, sex, money, drugs, killing. And they feel like, like I said, you know what I'm saying? If you rap about the shit, you have to live it. So it is what it is. Um, Do I feel bad, bad for blacks at this point in time? No. I stopped feeling bad for blacks a long time ago. Why? Because I understand. I'm one of the few blacks on this planet that understand. As long as blacks walk on this soil, it's a wrap. Like, get it? Like, rap music? It's a rap. It's a rap because there's nothing we can do. They have it toward, they have it in the system towards, like, it's layered. It's a trap and a trap and a trap and a trap. It's like nothing we can do. We can't rise up and fight back, even if we wanted to. And I'm gonna get why, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm about to go so deep with this shit. We can't rise up and fight back because we don't have the artillery, we don't have the manpower, you know what I'm saying? If we do rise up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to say it like this, bro. Oh, my God. I should save this for another episode, really. But I'm going to say it like this. Technically speaking, blacks are the most 
populate populated people on this planet, but we're divided into culture and, 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 and into race or name. We're divided by name. So you have Haitians, Somalians, you know, Jamaicans, Africans, African Americans. We so the fuck we're so fucking divided. It's kind of crazy. So that's one way that we're divided. Another way we're divided is by religion. So you have some blacks that is um, Christian, some blacks that is Hebrew, Israelite, some blacks that are uh, Buddha, some blacks that are Muslims or Muslims, some some blacks like okay. So that's one. That's another way is division. Um, religion. It's another way we're divided is religion. You know what I'm saying? And uh. And, and, and you got to remember, blacks debate heavily on those two things. They debate heavily on, I can't fuck with you because you're this, this you're Haitian. And, you know, the Haitians don't fuck with the, I think, was it the Haitians and the Somalians or the Haitians or the Jamaicans? Which one don't fuck with each other? Was it, like, I know they all don't fuck with each other, but two of them really beef. I don't, I don't know what it is, but they, they just don't, they can't get along. So that's one of the ways, you know what I'm saying? Religion has like religion has fucked up the planet for as long as we can tell as long as far as history traced back You know even other races like like Muslims and, and Man I'm about to get the fuck out of here. I'm hearing all types of sounds. This shit sounded like the motherfucking <laughs> This shit sounded like Goldie Diego like bro Got me thinking I'm fucking walking around in motherfucking Slender's Woods and shit. I'm just sitting on the damn park bench. It don't make no sense. I'm supposed to be hearing these sounds. But anyway, uh, religion has fucked up everybody, not just blacks. Every every single person on the planet for as long as we could tell. You know, why did 9-11 happen? Because of religion. Why did George Bush invade, you know what I'm saying? With the army, like, why did he invade Iraq and shit? Uh, it was Iran. I think it was Iran in the Middle East with the army. Religion. Back in 03. You see what I'm saying? He said he had God believed. He had God tell him that, uh, to go in there. That's what he believed in. You know, like, the wars because of religion. You know what I'm saying? Beliefs that cause war is from religion. My religion is 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 more important than yours, so I gotta kill you to get you to understand. It's like we never like say like say like this, right? We don't we don't come at each other, we don't talk to each other and try to debate debate with each other on which religion is right and wrong. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't sit down and have talks with like a group of religion, like the group of the highest religious religious leaders on the planet, and have debates and shit and, and try to talk with each other on about why. Our, our religion is more important than yours or, or, or why our religion We believe it's right We don't do that We just go straight to shooting and, and killing And wars and armies and shit Like it's not even negotiable So That's one way And that's just that. Like I'm just talking about blacks right now Like I'm not even talking about the planet Like planet this, There's so many fucking div it's really like a crazy, it's so crazy how, te you know what I'm saying? Race is one, the, uh, if we talking about America, then uh, Democrats, Republics, it's like, bro, they got this shit set up to a T of division. Like, the world can't all, there will never be a such thing as world peace until all these shits is gone. There will never be a such thing as world peace. But if you're going back, back, back to the black community, right? Like, so, in the black community, gangs, like, you got to think about this. A lot of be a lot of a lot of gangs talking about if we stop beefing with this set, you know what I'm saying? Then it's over with. Like nigga, no. Listen, let me tell y'all nigga something. And I think I said this before in another video. Blacks will and gangs will never stop. Be, they will never come together ever, ever. Blacks will never come together as a whole in America. I'm talking about America right now, cause like in America, say the Bloods and Crips in L.A. Somehow, by some by, with some crazy possibility that they just stop all the beefing. The Crips on Crips stop the beefing. The Bloods and Crips stop the beefing. Say everybody just stops beefing. Is that going to change? Is that if they do that, are the gangs in Chicago be going to be able to stop their shit? It's not likely. 
Are the gangs in, in Baltimore going to be able to stop this shit? It's not likely. Are the gangs in New York going to be able to stop this shit? It's not likely. You know what I'm saying? Just because one... And it, it, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a good thing. But they're still going to be... Like, they still have something set in stone to... to to, I feel like the, the, the oppressors has some shit set in stone to keep to keep us divided, you know. And you got to think, this predates back to like the 1960s from when that beef started, bro. It's, it's in too deep right now. Ain't no way in hell it's ever going to stop. I don't think it's ever going to stop, you know. I don't think blacks, like as a whole, like on this planet, will ever come together until we're all passed away. You know what I'm saying? And like, and not even like the blacks that are still on this planet are still gonna be divided. You know, are still gonna be beefing. We're always gonna be the, at the low, the lowest totem pole. You know, and you just have to come to accept that. And I've come to accept that. You know, we can't fight back because we are fighting amongst ourselves. And they had to set it up that they set it up that way, and that is fine. This is fine. There was nothing we could do. You know. There was nothing we could do. Even if we came, even if we somehow got together, and I honestly feel like this, even if we somehow got together and rose to the top and conquered all the nations by some miracle, by some miracle feat, miraculous feat, we wouldn't know what the, the like, society would crumble in under a day. Society would crumble. We're talking about 2,000 year plans and shit. Versus somebody who just got to the top in like a day. We wouldn't know what the fuck to do. We, okay, so yeah, we, we conquered, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to run this business? Who gonna, who's going to do that? Who's, who's going to make this gas company? Who's going who's, who's gonna to do all this shit? You know what I'm saying? As fucked up as this system feel, like, feels to blacks, as fucked up as it feels, you know what I'm saying? It works. It works. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely I know my, like, some... Some niggas is gonna find this shit crazy, but bruh, it works like there's like there's social standards put in place. There's rankings, there's there's ways to go up in life. There's ways to, you know what I'm saying, get your way up the ladder. I honestly feel like if blacks was in charge, my nigga, it will be just fucking chaos. You know, people are asking for equal rights and shit like that. People are listening to Black Lives Matter. Bro, <laughs> and I'm not gonna even say, I'm not gonna even word it like to make it sound like everybody else. I'm gonna say it like this. I'm not gonna say black. I'm not gonna say shit like blacks don't even believe black lives don't matter. I'm not gonna say black lives don't even think black lives matter. I'm, I'm not gonna say all lives. I'm not gonna say nothing like that. I'm gonna say this. Black lives do matter. You know what I'm saying? Black lives matter a lot. But you got to think about this. You have to think about this. Why? Think about this. Why do whites kill blacks? You know what I'm saying? Why do whites kill blacks? Why do why do whites allow blacks to kill blacks? Because I'm going to say it like this. If, if, if whites really wanted to do this, they could just come in black neighborhoods and stop the ki killing immediately. They have more numbers than you. They have more control over you. When cops pull in the black neighborhoods, blacks run. Or they just stop what they're doing. They shut up. They yell most of the times. They yell for them to leave so they can get back doing their ruckus. But they, 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 they do listen to authority. Else they get their ass clapped and they know this. So what I'm saying is, whites have full control over blacks. So if they wanted to, they can pull over, they can pull into these neighborhoods and stop all this shit they can regulate so why don't they it's because they need you to kill yourselves they need you to kill yourselves my nigga they need y'all to kill yourselves and then they collect organs and put them shits on the market this is not a theory this is not no motherfucking conspiracy. This is, this is none of that shit. This is an actual fact. They need blacks to kill themselves so they can collect the organs and put them shits on that market. Give these motherfuckers hearts and all this. How y'all think Rockefeller got nine hearts and shit? Where you getting all these hearts from, bruh? 
This nigga has like nine hearts. Where you think you get? Where you think he's getting these shits from? No, whites don't hate blacks. I don't think anybody hates. Asians look at blacks the way they do because they're 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 they're, they're, they're rose. I think they were the first cultural nation on this planet. Not first people on this planet. First, meaning like they were the first people who had a culture, who had a society, a societal, a societal standing in the world. Like they had their nation first before anybody else. So they, they're like they were. They're thinking about everything from a social ranking. So when they look at white people, they know that white people are on the top of the toilet pole on this planet and they know that blacks are on the lowest. So they look at everything from a societal standing. So when they look at black when they look at black people, you know what I'm saying? The reason like most east asian women don't want to get with blacks is because you know their fathers or their family will look at them a certain way cuz they view blacks I, I wish a nigga would. They view blacks as being as low like low on the totem pole. So it's not like they just hate blacks. It's just like they don't want to upset like their family and shit. You know, whites don't hate blacks at all. Whites love blacks. Most whites do love blacks. Others are envious. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Black men anyways. I can't really speak on black women, but black men anyways. Us being on the lowest of the totem pole, you have to think about it like this. If we're on the lowest, right, everybody listens to, everybody wants to do rap music. Rap music somehow was like one of the latest genres. Now it's at the top of everything. Like, that's it comes first. I know why it comes first, which is sad, but it comes first. You know, these niggas is doing TikTok, trying to start TikTok dances and, and trying to do that shit. And, and, and. And, but we, of course, when they make fun of our shit, when we do it, but they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They do TikTok shit to to our to our rap music and shit like that. Make challenges. Like I said, I wish a nigga would, bro. Come on, hop over that gate. Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> Look at that motherfucker. And nigga's like, bro, come back here. You know what I'm saying? They 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 do all this shit to all music, all all these dances to all music, all these little crazy videos. They do all this. We birthed, if you really think about it, we birthed and made social media popular. We upload crap like fights and shit. Shit goes viral. Anything. It could be anything. Like, bruh. But the coke the whole kill is. We are, I'm gonna say it like this. We are the world's source for entertainment. Entertainment. It doesn't matter what form of entertainment. Fighting, sports, music. Just think about that. We are the world's. We are the world's. To put it like into, to put it into an easier, uh, to put it into simpler words for y'all. We are the sources. I mean, we are the world's zoo. We are the zoo of the planet. Blacks are the zoo of the planet. We're the zoo. You could come to us, and we'll give you any source of entertainment. For free. For free. Sports. Music. Fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like anything. Fashion. Anything you want. Anything you want. Now, I see the world for what it really is. I'm hip to this. Um, should blacks feel ashamed? No. You know what I'm saying? Should blacks not feel ashamed? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put it like this. This was set up, you know. Because you got to think back to the 1950s. The 1950s, blacks didn't have shit. Like, blacks were literally trying to force their way into society. In America. I'm just speaking about blacks in America. Blacks in America were literally trying to force themselves into society to feel a part of something. You know. You know what I'm saying? We went from that to chains and, 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 and do rags and all this other shit. So I could say it comfortably like this. 
comfortably. We never had a chance, my nigga. But <laughs> it's okay because they let us come in. You got to think like this. Whites let, let blacks segregate into America. Maybe this was a trap that Martin Luther King and them didn't know about. But honestly, he never had a chance either, bro. Like say, like say we, say we didn't decide to integrate into like into their society, and we and what we would just went back to Africa or whatever. Like, okay. So, <laughs> some like, bro, history happens for a reason. So I honestly don't even know, man. I can't, I can't tell you about how that shit would have went. I went ahead and got deep. I didn't even mean to get deep. I just was trying to tell y'all some truth. I'm trying to spill some shit. I think I'm going to end this part right here, though, man. Act to go hard. Go hard, bro. Go hard to go home. I'm going to catch y'all niggas in the next video, man. I'm going to speak some real shit in that video as well. I might do something tonight for y'all's uh, gameplay or something. But we'll see. Anyways, man, I'm going to catch y'all niggas later, man. Like if I'm out, peace.